So today we're going to be talking about analog clocks, and that way you know what time it is when you look at one. You don't just look at it and you think, hmm, I wish I knew what time it was, right? Okay, so to start off, I have a really fun video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, moving on. So we're going to read today's I can statements together. Um, so today I can name the parts of an analog clock. Today I can tell time to the nearest half hour. In five minutes. And today I can write any given time on a clock. Good job. So now you know what to look forward to for today. So what is an analog clock? An analog clock tells you what time it is. An analog clock is usually in the shape of a circle. If you can look over there, that's what it looks like, minus the flowers, but we'll get to that. Um, an analog clock is numbered 1 to 12. An analog clock has more than, or has two arms. The longer hand is the minute hand, and the shorter hand is the hour hand. So this is an analog clock, and I said analog clock a lot because I really want you guys to remember that this, um, that this is one type of clock and the name of it. Okay, so the long hand is the? Minute. <coughs> Good job. And the short hand is the? Hour. Hour. Hour hand. Good job, class. Okay. So how to use an analog clock? So there's a small pe peg on um, analog clocks and they each stand for one minute. And then there are also, what I said before, um, numbered 1 to 12. And you skip count by 5 to get to that. So moving on to this side of it, 1 would be 5 minutes, 10 would be 2, uh, 3 would be 15, 4 is 20, 5 is 25, 6 is 30, 7 is 35, 8 is 40, 9 is 45, 10 is 50, 11 is 55, and 12 is 0. And 12 is 0 because that's o'clock, that's the top of the hour. So the clock resets. So when the minute hand is on the 12, we say? O'clock. And when the minute hand is on the 6, we say? 30. 30. Good job. So now moving on, we've got a quick little quiz. If you guys would like to use your clickers. Okay, so question one. What time does the long hand stand for? Go ahead. Still waiting on one more? All right, perfect. Let's see. Everybody answered one. Let's see if that's correct. It is correct. It stands for the minute. Good job. Okay. What hand tells you the hour? Is it the medium hand, the long hand, or the short <coughs> hand? Alright, let's check. Alright. So one person said the long hand, and nine people said the short hand. So the long hand we've got to remember, if you look over here, is the minute. And the short hand is the hour. So the answer is C. How many minutes do the numbers on the clock skip count by? Is it one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, or two minutes? Okay, so two 
two people said one minute, and the majority said five minutes. So if you look at our clock again over there, it says zero, five, 10, 15, 20. And if you notice, all of them either have fives or zeros. That's how we know that we're skip counting by five. So the answer is B, five minutes. Question four, what time is it on the clock? And always remember, minute hand is the long hand and hour hand is the short hand. So, So that's the end of the slideshow. Um, so now what I would like you guys to do is would you please grab your tablets and when you open them up you're going to go um, type in the search bar telling time. It's an app that has a clock on it. Thumbs up on your head when you get there. So I know. All right, so now that we all have it, so you guys are going to go to play game and make sure that your mode is on practice <coughs> up at the top. You change the minute hand increments to five because that's what we've been working on. And then questions is on 10. And then you can go ahead and continue on. And you click begin and then you just add on. And I'll be around to help you.